the Queen and I will always keep in our hearts the inspiration of this day. And may we ever be worthy of the goodwill which I am proud to think surrounds us at the outset of my reign. He was frequently described as um, excessively shy, very retiring, very nervous, um, resistant to appearing in public at all. He was someone who hadn't sought kingship, he had it thrust upon him. And his whole life really was, from then on, was about coming to terms with that and trying to be the best king that he could be. That stammer overshadowed any major public appearance that he had to make. He hated public speaking. He was a, a diffident, modest, I suspect very shy person. In our story, Lionel Logas, this Australian outsider figure from a completely different class and background, is there to kind of break down in order to heal Bertie, in order to heal the king. What struck me was the intensity that the king called on Logue, especially in the early days. There were over 80 appointments in quick succession on every single day. A large chunk of his reign was taken up with the Second World War. They famously refused to leave Buckingham Palace so that they could share the suffering of, of, of their people. Between them, they became you know, great symbols of British resistance to Nazi domination. But today, we give thanks to God for a great deliverance.